Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm super excited you're here today because it's Merry Monday, back by popular demand. I asked all of you what you thought about Christmas in July. And <clears throat> pretty much, I'd say it was about 95% for, maybe about 5% that said, eh, okay, or not really excited. But what I wanna tell you, please don't hang up just yet or go away. Um, there will be one piece, the majority of the pieces will be Christmas, but there will always be a piece made that is non-Christmas in the same form or base so that you can see how to do it Christmas or non-Christmas, okay? For those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, you'll be able to still use the same pieces in your journals non-Christmas, okay? So it's not just Christmas. It's just what we call it Merry Monday, and it's exciting Monday to work a little bit on Christmas now. Disclaimer, I have not made anything Christmassy since oh man, maybe January or February. So I may be a little discombobulated until we get this going. Now, there'll be a couple of Merry Mondays and <clears throat> probably a couple of other Christmas days during the month of July. It's not going to be the whole month of July Christmas, okay? There'll be plenty of other projects for you to look at that are non-Christmassy. So I hope you won't go away. I hope you watch just for the how-to part of it, not so much for what the papers are. Okay, so let's do it that way. Before we get going, I wanted to let you know our shop, Design, Journal, and Supply, is open again. Uh, Jolene's off vacation, so we are ready. We are designjournalandsupply.etsy.com for all of your journaling supply needs, okay? So in that shop, there will be Christmas goodies for you to use. Now, if you're not ready, maybe you'd like to do a little stash building pre-Christmas so that you'll have them ready to go at Christmas. Like you could just throw your journals together at Christmas or a gift or a card or a scrapbook page because you've pre-made things. So for if you don't want to drag out all your Christmas stuff, we've got supplies for you. We've got this netting in multiple colors. We have ribbon. We have charms that you can use. So you can just go get those and not have to drag out all your Christmas supplies and all your, and these are winter, beautiful, aren't they? Snowflakes, all three colors. Um, so you could just go get those to play with and not have to drag everything out in order to just do a little Christmas stash building, right? Because that's my problem. I don't want to drag it all out. So I have a basket behind me and a couple of little things with Christmas. I didn't drag it all out. I would get too overwhelmed and quit, you know, because I have so much else on my work table that is non-Christmas. And I'm now Christmas is a state of mind. Hallmark does Christmas in July, and I enjoy watching those movies. I don't feel like it has to be snowing or cold. The thing about Christmas is the joy, the colors, the bright, the sparkle, and also the meaning behind it. And if you're spiritual, that meaning is with you year-round. So, you know, no, we're not ready to buy presents. No, we're not ready to decorate the house. But we can still use the sparkle, the joy, the fun, the excitement of it, and make pretty things, okay? So kind of something to think. It doesn't have to have, be snowy to think Christmas. You know, Christmas is a spirit. It's a feeling. It's a, a sharing. It's a caring. It's a love. So we're going to do that in our Christmas in July pieces. Now, I don't do a lot of laces and goodies and things like that at Christmas. I back that off a little bit. I might do a little bling, gold or silver, but I don't use a lot of pearls and a lot of fancy white lace and a lot of bridal lace and stuff like that. I don't do that at Christmas time. So, uh, at least in my pieces, in my journals, unless maybe I do that this year, who knows? I, I'm not sure what December itself will hold. I probably won't do any this December. Last year, I made three or four journals at Christmas and I was exhausted and I don't think I'll do that again. So it wouldn't hurt for me to stash build a little bit. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to make bookmarks. We're going to make journaling bookmarks. These are inspired by Rachel at Roxy Creations and my version. Okay. So we all have a version of something and it is something that would go on a page in your Christmas journal or whatever you have, right? Could stand alone for a book you're reading too, or a gift. These might make great gifts. If you know somebody who does a lot of Christmas book reading or reads a lot at Christmas, she might enjoy, he or she might enjoy a lovely uh, bookmark. So let's get busy. Now we can make these out of anything you want, but I'll show you a couple of different things I'm going to choose to do today. And where did, whoops, I, some things never made it to my desk. My hubby interrupted me and <laughs> I got way late. Now, you can use scraps. This is perfect for your 4 by 12 inch uh, 
paper pad scraps. I don't really have any scraps, so I may decide to cut some. And we're going to do these a couple of different ways. Now, if you do not have the Tim Holtz papers or you don't have digitals, um, or you only have one side of scrapbook paper, a good way to make your base is with cardstock or file folders. Now, maybe you have some old file folders or some new ones. You bought some and you have too many. We also sell these in our shop. Um, so you can just buy a few if you don't want a lot. You can also make these out of a file folder. Now, I made some tag style ones, and I'll show you what that would look like. And these are going to be the kind that hang over a page. I brought my one of my Christmas journals out that uh, was a something I bought from Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure. I want to show you how this would work. So this is made out of a file folder and all you would do is just, you hang it over the page. So obviously it could be a page hanger, but what you do is you pop it up just a bit, glue it at the top so that you can put it on and it's removable. But look, you can find your page in your book and you have a lovely tag. Now we would decorate this with single-sided paper of any kind, digital, magazines, uh, single-sided scrapbook pads, 12 by 12, whatever you want. And so that's one way to do it, right? So we could do it that way. You can do a tag style, which I had some cut from another project. So that was cool because I didn't have to cut any. And I'll show you how that would work. Or you could use strips of the file folders and we will look at those in just a minute so what i'm going to do is now this one is three and a quarter wide that's tag width but that seems a bit wide i think for um a what do you want to call a uh, bookmark so give me a minute and i'm going to run over to bertha here for just a second it's dark in here i forgot to open the blinds is that crazy or what well it's hot out and so I tend to keep the blinds closed and just about craft in the dark. There we go. Okay. Now let me cut these. I'm going to cut them at two and a half. <laughs> Bertha doesn't fit on my desk, so I have to go. Okay, so what I did was I just cut off two and a half inches. I think two and a half is a good size for a bookmark. Two inches is fine, but that makes it pretty skinny and hard, hard, hard to decorate. So let's do it that way. Now, these are the standard colors I was talking about with you that are not Christmassy. We'll get to those in just a minute. But since this is Christmas in July... Oh, I wanted to keep that page mark so I could just, oh, there we go, go to it so we could show you. So I'm going to set those off to the side for just a minute. All the non-Christmas, because I have digital papers, I have double-sided, I have single-sided scraps. So I'm going to pull those off for a minute. Mm. There we go. Those are heavy. And we're going to try one. Now, you could use a double-sided scrapbook paper, which I started to talk about, to make your your bookmark. You could take a double-sided one, cut it, fold it, and decorate it. See what I'm saying? So let's see how many we have of each in here, because I know I've used a lot of these. Yeah, I love this scrapbook pad. It's, I got it on, this is very neutral, which could be Christmas or non-Christmas. We'll grab that, because I didn't, I don't want to dig out all of my scrapbooks, um, pads that are Christmas right now. So let me put this aside. So we have one of these we can do it with and we'll have to go cut that on Bertha in a minute. But for right now, instead of me dragging out my big scrapbook paper pads, I thought I would pull out my Tim Holtz backdrops. These are his newest. You can get these online right now. Very easy to find in either Etsy or, oh, is this the same one as this? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, good. Well, then I know I have a new one and I don't have to worry about cutting all this this all up because I really like this one right here. I'm really into this. And since I have new ones, if I if I cut it all up, because you know I'm hoarding Tim Holtz anything, right? So let's go like that. Okay, so let's start with this. Now this one I think I can cut on my, mm, not sure. Fingers crossed. No, it doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, 
Okay, so this one is six by 10, by the way. And I don't know, do I want it three so I don't waste any? I think I'll do it three, three inches. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold this. Let's go to Miss Big Bertha and cut her because she's a giant guillotine. Bigger than this one. She'll do a 12 by 12 easily. So, alrighty. Darn it. I was like, no, I was hoping to be able to use that one today. Darn. Okay, let's put this over here. Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Color me. I don't know what. Now, this is 10 inches tall. So, obviously, our page is not 10 inches tall, right? So, as it's not 10 inches tall, we have to decide how long do we want this because that's going to determine our fold down at the top of our page. So let's see, what do we want? I'm thinking uh, if this is 10, eight, so two inches, maybe make it seven or seven and a half. Um, let me see. Probably easier just to use a ruler, right? Let's see, so if we go seven, seven and a half, seven, I think seven, excuse me, is a um, good bookmark. Now, what do I like as the top of this? Darn it, I turned it around when I pulled it out, so now I don't know. I don't think there's another one in here. I think you only get one of each. Do we get two of each? Hmm, I wouldn't say. I don't think there's another one. I think I probably used it all already. Yep. All right, well, uh, okay, that's candy cane, and it seems like that's more the top so we'll do that so what I want to do is I know I want to move it from 10 inches to 7 inches which means we want about a two and a half to three inch turn down and to give a little something hanging over your page because what you want is you have this side you turn it over and you kind of end up with a cute little paper clip or tuck spot on that side and a bookmark on that side when you place it on your page so you can put things on both sides if you're going to use it as a bookmark otherwise you just use it as a page over strip. I mean, whatever you want to do. Let's put that there. I'm going to move that off to the side for a minute. Okay. I forgot to ask, how are all of you? Are you good? Are you happy? Are you safe? I hope so. I hope everybody's wonderful. So I think the first thing I'm going to do, as you know, I like to decorate or do the edges. And in this one, I have decided I'm going to get a board here. Just a minute. What are you guys up to? Anything exciting this week? What's your week going to be like? Do you have plans or you just go like me by the seat of your pants and whatever is, is, right? So what I'd like to do is I want to put this in here and just it moved out a little bit, but I wanted to do something with the edges here. I don't do this very well, so let's see. How do we do this? Do we do it like that, maybe? Did that work? Yes, that worked. Okay, so then we go over here. I'm not great at this, honestly. It's not my thing, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so we have a really pretty edge that could go over a page on one side. We could do the exact same edge on the bottom of this, or we could just round it, whatever you want to try. I think I'll do it again since I was sort of successful. Oh. Why are you sticking in there? Oh, I didn't push it all the way down, whoopsie. Okay, like I said, not particularly successful at this. Got it. Uh, no, I missed it. There. All right, so we have a pretty scallopy edge. Now you can you can you can definitely build your stash with these, and you don't have to do just Christmas. Do grab out your scrapbook paper and make one of these, and then you would just decorate this part and that part if you wanted to with something Christmassy, a saying or an image, a, a tag, whatever you'd like to use. Um, and I did that upside down, didn't I? No, candy canes go that way. I don't know why that's like that's tricking me today. <laughs> now the other thing you want to do is you want to do this little corner and I want to find Ow, I always pinch my fingers on this darn thing. I don't 
there because we're going to glue this a little bit and make it a, a topper, like sticks up over it. Uh, what, you, what there's a word for that? Well, it's not topper. It's a, uh, well, what we put the tag topper. All right. Um, let me grab some things from Mr. Tim Holtz here. And we can do a little decorating, right? I love this. We have Believe, and we have all kinds of goodies we could put on there. I know I kind of, I kind of, <laughs> I'm funny, but I hoard Tim Holtz too. Weird, huh? I know. I'm not gonna see what, I, oh, okay, this is kind of too big for me, I think. I like something a little bit smaller. Cheer wish I don't know maybe the big words are better on this because I mean it's hard to find um, believe and then we could do like a little 25 up there and we could do like a little admit one down here something simple like that like what do you think of that that's pretty cool um, I'm looking to see what else is in here I could play with. There's a lot of fun bits and pieces. I did buy a whole bunch of these packs of stuff last year for this particular thing, so I would have plenty to play with. Um, can I get back up there, you guys, now? Oh, 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 I like this. Okay, and then, okay, it's gonna take me a minute to get my creative juices for Christmas going. Please bear with me. I have my little stamps, my little stars. Let me do that. Let me move this off to the side for whoops for a minute. <clears throat> Let me get my little ink pad here. I don't know what are we called. Oh, I have a hair appointment. I'm finally gonna get my hair cut. It's been so long. It's crazy. It's kind of now not bugging me like it was. So it's like, oh, but it's so jagged on the ends. She really needs to just, I tell her, just take a little half inch off and straighten it out. Because she had cut it at an angle before where it was high in the back and low in the front. So I still have that where the front's kind of dangling way past the back. I tell her, just even it up straight across. Give it a good blunt cut. I haven't had one of those in years. I'm liking the length because I can put it in a headband, a ponytail, braid it. Curl it, although it doesn't really want to curl, probably because the edges are a jagged mess. Now, you'll notice this side is patterned. You could write on it, but since it's supposed to be a bookmark, I'm not really worrying about that. So it's just getting a little bit of ink so the edges look sort of finished. <sighs> Let's decorate it and then we'll make, you know, complete one. And then I'll show you some others. Okay, so let's... I don't do, like I said, a lot of, I have little bits of, hold on, let me finish the sentence, little bits of laces is what I was trying to say. I have a little bit of lace we could use on this. Yeah. Let me see, it's kind of bright red. Maybe I would want a green on that, but that green is a different green than that green. But it's a sparkly green, which might be pretty. Ooh, it's a wide one. Well, maybe I could cut it down a bit because I don't want all that wide, wide ribbon. So let me do this. Oh, there are the sirens again. I apologize. Nothing we can do about it. As I've explained to you, those who have been with me a long time, you already know. But if you're new, we live near Firehouse, the hospital, the big ambulance bay where the hospital, the ambulances live and the helipad for the helicopter for Flight for Life. So it's kind of hard not to have sirens, pretty much. What did I just do with that little rubber band that was on there, 24 seven? Hello, where did you go? Well, I'll put it off to the side for a minute, I'll find it. Okay, oh, there it is, yay. These bitty rubber bands, I don't own any, so it'd be hard for me to get a hold of some. I have to go buy some. I don't even know what size you would buy. 
All right, so let's grab our oh, fabric tech, which is ice cold from the air conditioner being on. It is hot here today in California. We're supposed to get up to 110 later this week. This should be Monday for you guys. So yeah, it's probably in the 80s or 90s, which is warm in a two-story house because your heat rises, right? So you're like, ugh, yucko. Like I said, I don't do a lot of lace, but I will do a little lace. Although I'm so used to using lace now, I don't know if I can make anything that didn't have lace on it. I don't know that I could do that. I'm a lace girl and bling girl. This will have bling. I do have red bling and green bling and gold bling. You just won't see. I, I, I generally do not use pearls unless I'm doing like Christmas ladies or something. You know, something fun like that. You saw me just cut that lace in half to make it work for that. And then I was gonna, now I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my um, art glitter glue. So I am gonna put that in my lap to warm it up in case I need it. And I don't know if I'll have to open this. I might, I just might do it anyway. Cause if I don't use it for 24 hours, which I haven't, um, it does thicken up a bit on the end. Oh, as I throw the bottle away. I'm gonna kind of angle that 25 and I'm gonna add uh, this. Now this would be fun to have some of the snow. Let me get some, I'm gonna get some red. Oh, well, I have some red. This isn't the snow one, but maybe, let's see, I don't know if I have any open. I don't wanna open those two. They, they go to the shop, so that wouldn't be uh, here's some green. Do I have any more out? I'm going to have to get my, I'm going to have to pull out my Christmas snow pieces if I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, I do. Hold on a minute. They're at the bottom. Just got to find them. Here we are. This is green. I think it just blends in. So let's try the red. Now the sirens are far away, so it's probably an accident on Pacheco Pass. It's a big pass leading from our valley to uh, Modesto, Fresno, those areas. I'm gonna need Fabri-Tac for this though. Luckily I have warmed it up a bit. All right, come on you. It's got a bubble and it's being a stinker. Like I said, I don't have problems with this glue, so I'm just shocked that I am having issues with it. But my home has been cooler this year all winter and then now that it's coming into summer with the air conditioner running, it's really not warming my glue up much. I really don't want that little bit that's sticking up, so that just works really great. Throw that away. Yeah, we have these in the shop, so if you need them, they're there. I use those year-round. I just don't use them at Christmas, really. There. Now let me add a little star. I did want to get one completely decorated for you guys. Oh, there we go. And then I want to add a couple little gold stars. Ooh, I'm going to run out of these, aren't I? These are vintage, vintage, vintage. Let's see. I'm actually gonna, I mean, they're gummed on the back. You could lick them, but they're nasty, so don't do it. I met, I, I would imagine maybe you could find these online. I don't know, on eBay or something like that. I think I found more recently and I was super excited in my stash. Oh, look at that, cute, right? So you have bits of gold that way, 
I don't really feel like I have to add any bling because that's sparkly and that's sparkly and that's sparkly. So I kind of feel like we've got our bling in there. Although I want one more star because I like them in threes. Three, five, seven, nine. Your eye enjoys that much better. Gives it a fun place to look and doesn't confuse the eye. It lets you start at the top of the page, go to the middle of the page, go to the bottom of the page, because it will bounce with the stars. And so it gets someone to look at your whole piece instead of just going, oh, that's pretty, and go, moving on, right? They'll, they'll actually study it for a minute, if that's your goal. There, look at that. Isn't that a cute little bookmark? Now, you could just put a little tag or something or a little image on the back. Let me see if I have... Well, I know I have, but... Let me see what our time is because I don't want to run out. It seems like lately my videos are long. <laughs> I'm rummaging. Ah, no, that's not it. Well, come on. Ah, there we go. All right, found what I was looking for. Found it. Okay. Because Christmas is not easily accessible for me right now. Now, these are not pre-cut, unfortunately, but... It would still let us find an image to go to the back. These are Rachel's at Roxy Creation. I was looking to see if I do have any pre-cut. I think I took them all out of my book and put them in an envelope because my book was fat and full. But let me double check, because I have pre-cut images in my Christmas books, but you know, I haven't used them in how long? <laughs> Four or five months, <sighs> you forget, you know, you look quick. Hold, please. Talk amongst yourself. Chit chat. Say hello to each other. Well, I could just find a little image to stick on there, couldn't I? Maybe I have a little something that would be cute on the back. I have all my pre cut images. Oops. Well, I did, but I just made a big mess. This little girl is adorable, but I don't think she goes with our theme. No. No, and I have more of those somewhere cut out. Like I said, I have to get used to Christmas again. You know, you start thinking in a certain way, and you have all these ideas, and you're ready to go, and I'm not finding what I want there. Let's see what Tim Holtz has in his little boxes. I'm sure I have something to fit back there. Or, I do have Rachel's little tag. Oh, that one's pre-cut. Too big. Um, I kind of have an idea here. I'm actually going to cut this smack in half. And I'm going to go around. I'm going to do a quick fussy cut. I'm gonna ha I have to cut these a little more carefully than something else. A uh, Christmas flower would look lovely. Or a sticker. Oh, I wonder if I have Christmas stickers from Tapology. Topology? Topology. I can never remember how to say that. Terrible. I probably have stickers from Topology. I'll have to remember to use some of those, too. I'll pull those out. And if I do start using them, I'll give you the, um, the code for that. Well, I have a code for me, so if you buy over there, she knows I sent you. I don't like that little, the little too sharp for me. There we go. We'll just let our little reindeer stick out there. So there's a little something on the back. I mean, that really isn't the big thing. It's just the back side that would be on the back of your bookmark to keep it on the page. So we'll put that on there. And we will add, what else should we add? We add a little, uh, what do we have? There was some little cute things on here too, I did see. Oh, I hate to use the word confectionery with a reindeer. <laughs> it's not a good thing, right? I kind of want to keep that with the sweets and the goodies. Just want a little, add a little something. I want to layer it a little. Oh, maybe one of these. 
I've done this before where I've cut these apart. Okie dokie, let me. Just a little something here. I don't know why my stomach's growling. My hubby fed me breakfast. Oh, I'm having issues with my legs again, you guys. So, I don't know. Couldn't get down the stairs today. But that's okay. I managed to make it in here. Oh, there we are. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, so we have that cute little bit. And, of course, I mean, there is a ton of Tim Holtz boxes here, but not all of them have good little bitty pieces like this kit. This is the newer one, I think. Um, I wonder if this was the newest one from last year. I'm thinking it is. What year does it say? Because there's a, a year in here, which I love that Tim Holtz puts a year. 2023. This is 24. Yeah, this is the newest one. Well, it's not the 24. He hasn't brought those out yet, but I imagine we're going to see those pretty darn quick. And we might even see in this month only because it is sort of a Christmas and July month for everybody that's in this business. So, um, yeah, that's cute. You could even add a little bow at the top because now the one thing we are going to do is we're going to make a little... We'll see in just a minute what I have in mind. We're going to close that up at the top just a bit. You'll see why in a minute. Got to give it a second to dry. Might as well let it sit for a second. Pick up a few pieces. Um, and there we are gotta get I want it to dry completely so maybe I could just pick up a few things while I'm letting it dry and I'll show you why I let it dry and where it's going oh. I have a basket full of Christmas goodies little bits and pieces of everything that way I could use it year-round um, but so what we have here I mean that, that's not particularly Christmassy but it did its job I've lost my page. We'll use this page here. So as a bookmark, you would go just like this. And you notice it sticks up a bit at the top. And that allows it to stick over your book so you can find it. If it went all the way down on it, you would never see it. So if you're thumbing through, it becomes a tab. And you just go like this to open it. So you could put another little tabby thing at the top. Or you can leave it as it is. You could spice it up with something so that you can find it easier. It's totally up to you what you want to do. I'm making this more Victorian and vintage-y because that's what my style is. So there is our bookmark. This actually, Lulu, Rachel's daughter, suggested it. Rachel made it. I've made one now and I'm in love. So good job, Lulu, Rachel, and now me. And I've done it with just a piece of cardstock. And you have your bookmark. Okay. So now a couple of ways we could do this. I'm going to find my... I need to put this back in here. Anyway, this is a card from my friend Joey. That Joey, the car, Joey card maker. I'm using it kind of as a marker for me. All right. So that's the first one. We're going to move that out of the way. I think we're done with that. We put that away. And now let me show you, okay, so we have this left over, so definitely I'll make another one at some point where, you know, so I have a couple to put in different journals or as gifts. I think that'd be a great gift. Move that out of the way. Okay, now you could just take a regular piece of cardstock. If it seems too fat, maybe we could just make it two inches, make it skinnier. But I find, I'm afraid if we go too small, it'll be very difficult to decorate, right? We wouldn't find any uh, images to go on there. Chat amongst yourselves for a second while I give myself a quick two inch chop here. But first I have to cut off the strip. It's always so fun to have your maker strip on your 12 by 12. Let me cut this to I like
back two and a half, I think is a very good size. Oh, I wish I'd cut this the other way. Darn it, I messed up my paper. I should have gone the other way so I could, man, it's not how I wanted to do it. Now I messed that up because I won't have my full turn down. Sugar. Oh, that was my cane I just hit the floor with. Sorry, Mr. Kane. What'd I do with my, oh. Again, I'm going to make this turn down three. And this one, I think I will just do some corners. Now, we just did that with cardstock there. You just saw me cut a big strip here. I'm wondering if I messed up because, I mean, I should be. Why did that crooked? Did I not cut that right? I don't think I cut that right. Weird. All right, well, I can trim it. It's no biggie. So I notice sometimes when you fold these, they kind of go wonky on you. There. Fixed. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so what I was thinking on this one is I would do the corners with a different corner punch. This one's a pretty punch, but with this paper, you really aren't seeing it, which is sad because it's a pretty paper. It's too printed. You can see it on the back side, but not on that side. And I'm going to do the same thing down at the bottom. Okay. So this is no different than this. We would just decorate that up. Okay, so that's nothing new. So I think I won't finish that because we only have so much time. And if I stop and do that, then I can't do the file folder when I showed you you could do which would be a shame because I know we really want to, here they are. That's what I wanted to do. I'm not going to do the bookmark one. So now this will dangle over again. And now this is too long. Obviously we don't want it that long. Um, how long is this? Well, this is nine. Um, we're going to actually drop the whole thing over on this one. So we just want to cut the bottom a bit. Well, I want to cut off this little bump here. Let's get rid of the bump. Do the bump. Let's get rid of the bump. And let's get rid of the bump. Now, one side we don't need to be as long as the other. So why don't we cut this one a bit more? Let's see, what did we end up taking off on this one? Well, we took off about two and three quarters on this and just a little there so it's hanging over the page it's not a hundred percent so that's good right so that'll work and then let's i'm not ready to corner everything and do all of that so let's get the pink one as well this would be great for single side scrap paper or um just like a digital paper or something like that I think I'm going to make it, I'm going to take off three on this one this time. So now we have some little bits, more bits to play with. Oh my goodness, I have so many bits. Can't play with them all. There's just not enough hours in the day, I'll tell you. Alrighty, so we have this one and this one, and both of these will hang over our page. One's a little longer than the other, which is fine. Um, and now what you would do with these is cover them. And you could, you could collage them, or you can just take a digital and cover them or a single side scrap paper cover them I have some beautiful background pages Roxy creations this is her background pages three and four and stunning so I'm just gonna do that on this one Let me move some things off my desk so I have room to do my gluing I'm gonna do this. ouch I'm going to check my time and see where I'm at on this. Okay. I think I have about 15 minutes, I'm hoping. Yeah. 
I've got about 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to be able to get through these easily. So what we would do with this one is we would glue it up the most of it will hang over and maybe I would cut it now. I think that might be a good way to do it too. I need to get rid of these edges. So do I want to tear or do I want to cut on my cutter? Let me do this first. Okay, let me do that. And no, I did not pre-prep. I'm not going to be able to pre-prep too much for Christmas. I have too many other things I'm doing to pre-prep. All right, let me see here. It's not worth my time. These videos are free, so, you know, it isn't worth it for me to, if I was getting paid to do tutorials, uh, then, you know, everything, of course, would be done in advance and measured to the nth degree, but these are freeze, so... Not gonna do that. I love this strip of paper. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Now I just pulled out oh, there it is. Because you can't rip on this. It's too oh you don't want to. So let me grab a glue stick. I finally found my glue sticks and I tell you I was so excited. I was able to restock my glue sticks. I bought some others that I just wasn't happy with. And I love Scotch, whether it's a Scotch Create or the Scotch Permanent. I believe Scotch Create is now Scotch Permanent. It's no longer called Scotch Create. They renamed it, redid the whole thing. I don't know. I think they were trying to position themselves as a crafting glue, not a kid's glue, not a, which I think they did a great job, but maybe it wasn't what they were looking for. So they just went to it as a permanent glue because a lot of the other glues are not permanent. A lot of glue sticks, you can just rip them right apart. And this one you're not supposed to be able to. So this is my little trick, you know, is to just put it on and then cut it down. It's so much quicker. Anybody making anything interesting they want to share? All right, I guess not. No one spoke up. But it was unanimous, almost unanimous, not quite unanimous. It wasn't unanimous. It was really strongly requested to have Christmas in July. Isn't that paper just stunning? Oh, this is Rachel's paper, and oh, it's so beautiful. I would like to add more. I'm going to go all the way down the back because I just think it's so pretty. Let's do it. I love to cover things. You know, gluing is, cutting and gluing are my favorite. Pasting, I guess you could say pasting. Cutting and pasting are some of my favorite things to do. And it reminds me of being a kid. I think that's one of the things I like so much about this journaling world that we hand make. You get to play. You get to be young again. You get to reinvent yourself. You get to just pure joy of creating. I lose that sometimes because I have a a channel and there's, you know, you need to, if you want YouTube to take you seriously and, and play your videos for your people, you kind of have to make sure you do a certain amount and a certain length and do certain things. And that can be stressful as for a creator, but we do it because we want to share with you. So we don't mind. I mean, really it's part of the process, right? Okay. I feel glue on here. I'm just going to use my glue eraser, and I will remind you again, these are in the shop for those of you who need them. They are a miracle worker. Let's get rid of all that sticky glue. A lot of times I can just roll it off. It takes the shine off, even if it doesn't completely take the glue off once it's over dry. If it's over dry, it may not come off, but I find, and I'm not going to do the inside. We're leaving that blank for now. I think on this one, I mean, I could cover it. Depends what it was going to go into. If it was a gift, I might cover that with some play, excuse me, plain paper. <laughs> Spit that out. Um, say that fast. I dare you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so I think I just want to do a pretty little corners on these. Let's see. Where's my favorite? You know, I have my favorite on this little punch. I've never used some of the others. They're kind of, they're all right. They're fine. I mean, but I'm in love with this one. Sort of feels old world to me. I don't know why. 
the edge is unusual. It's not just round or square or clipped. Okay, now, oh, this is lovely, 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 love. I could just see putting a pretty lady in there. I don't know if I have any pre-cut that would look good on there. We could look. I'm running over everything with my chair. <laughs> chair is being naughty. Now, I don't think that that pretty little corner will cut through this thick paper right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my regular corner rounder up here. Yeah, that's pretty thick. And this thing is a chomper. It will chomp. Okay, I like that a lot. So now let's add a little. I don't want to get crazy with this. I just want to get rid of the edge of the file folder. Okay, let's go like this. Go around the edges. And maybe just up the sides of this. So whatever does show from the front. Sometimes the cardstock will show from the front. Even though that isn't your intention, it may do it. So if you just put a little ink on the edge. If you're an inker, if you're not, maybe it'll give you a good reason to ink, right? I don't know. I'm hoping so. Okay, that's so pretty. Let's see if I have some ladies. I've got a lot of ladies here. Let's see, this is my book, my ladies book. What do I have? Ooh, I got lots of pretty ladies. I have some that are pre-cut in the right colors even. Mm -hmm. Isn't she pretty? Oh, let's use her. She's gorgeous. I have a couple of her cut out. I'm going to use her. I know she's blendy blendy. That's me. I'm, I'm not a big one for crazy anything, but I have my days. <laughs> I have my days, right? <laughs> I do. You know it. I'm not going to leave it just like that. So now I have, yes, excuse my reach. Oh, there we go. I've got some of my papers from 1600s that I would like to put behind that. Let me get my, hello, get over there. I mean it. Let's cut this down. I wish I had some with red. I don't any. I don't think any of the papers I got from Rachel have the red print. It's my favorite. Oh, I'm gonna do a quick. I did fussy cut these a while ago. I need to go and fussy cut a bunch of ladies, so I don't have to do it during a video. I never have the t well. If I have the time, I'm not really feeling very well. So, she had a sharp elbow there. Goodness. Sorry, dear. You don't need a sharp elbow for anything. I don't think you need to elbow the mister at the moment. So let's put, I don't want to cover that all up. I love that back there. Maybe if we put it at the bottom and purposely cut it. Oh, I love that at the top. I don't really want to rip that off there. Maybe I can find a way to put her through the middle of that. Yeah, I don't want to see a sharp corner. I don't want to lose the numbers and the letters, like the words. And I think I'm going to... I've kind of cut off all the age. So, because the age is on strips like this. That's natural aging. But once you get farther into the piece, you don't see that pretty aging. So that's when we get out the... Yeah, so you still see all that beautiful work by Rachel and her husband, Stefano, Steffi, as those of us who follow her call him. His real name's Stefano. Um, yes, love it. See, I told you I'd be doing pieces that weren't just Christmas. But of course, you could put a Santa on here. If this was Christmas paper, cover up your file folder and go from there. That works. Correct? It does work. And then we'll glue her onto that. And I'm using Fabri-Tac because it won't damage the 1600s paper. It doesn't discolor it when you use the glue because that is the danger of that. Oh, pretty. Oh, I'm in love. Oh my goodness. This is a wonderful bookmark. In fact, 
this one I may keep for myself because I'm a big reader and I'm reading some period romances that are this era. So I've got all kinds of eras I'm reading. I ordered the Bridgerton series, the all nine books or whatever it is, I'm waiting for it to come in. I can see putting a little piece of lace down at the bottom. And then, of course, I want to make my little, figure out where I'm going to put my glue up here because I want to make my topper here tab. I'm creating my tab of the top of my bookmark. So it'll stick out of my book and I can find my page better. Oh, this is going to be a great bookmark. I'm definitely going to use this one. And I'm going to probably put a little lace or, oh, I know a uh, tassel would be good up there. A real, you know, tassel, tassel. I have some tassels. Put a hole and put a tassel up there. i to let that dry though. And what time do I have, guys? Let me see. Guys and dolls, I have 10 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. Hmm. I'm <clears throat> sorry, I have a dry throat. I was about to cough at you, which I didn't want to do. Where's my box? Where's my other box? Hmm. I don't know. Must be on my tray. Right. A pretty blue lace I'm going to put at the bottom. This would be fabulous in a book. Oh my goodness. This one's going to be for me. I never make myself anything. I am today. I'm making myself a bookmark. Woohoo. Ugh. I've dulled the living daylights out of those. I put that down. That came up too far. I don't think I have glue on this corner. I do not. I can tell I don't. Let me get that under there. Come on, you. Stubborn. I got to spend lovely time with my daughter's youngest while she was in Europe. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed my time with my granddaughter. <sighs> Reconnecting. Just one-on-one -on -one with her, which is nice because, you know, when you have two of them and they're always together at your house, you kind of can't really have a conversation with just one of them. So it was, it was fun. We need pearls. Oof, my pearls fell out of their... Do I want pearls or I do want bling? Mm. This seems like pearls for me. I'm stuck to it. <laughs> Stop it. Let go. Gosh, naughty scissors. Put you away. I'm being naughty today. Okay, we got that. Now, I feel like it needs something up there. I wonder if I have any quotes that would be good. You know, um, do I have my Tim Holtz books out on my desk behind me? I might. Let me look. I didn't go anywhere. I'm right behind you. I wanted to see if I pulled them out because I was making some stuff. Yeah, Mr. Holtz, where are you? I have the Christmas one out for sure. All right, I don't see the one I want. I, I know it's out. It's out. I know it's I know it's not buried, but let me see if I can find my word books. Small talk. That will work, right? I think so. We need something to do with reading or improving our mind or something sweet. Otherwise, I can use my regular. Oh, God, yes. Hold on. This mat's going to kill me one of these days. It slid on the floor. If I didn't see it and stepped on it, I would have gone flying like I was on a red carpet. Carpet ride for me. Bad for your hip. Especially if you land on it. Alrighty, let's see if we can get a... So, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to cover it with paper and make myself another bookmark. So, you see that you can use double-sided cardstock, single-sided, cover it with this paper, which is probably what I'll do with this one if I have one that I, I have a whole envelope full of single-sided cardstock. See? So I could use like one of my single-sided pieces here, cover it up, and 
you know, decorate it and do the same thing here and make a pretty little bookmark for some of my, I'm sorry, you guys, that was pretty loud. Goodness. Here we go. Here's my scraps. Oh, yes. I see some rows. I see some stuff. And this one, I might actually use a couple of different pieces to make it pretty. You know, maybe use some greens with the pinks and make a really pretty um, bookmark out of that. So I've given you like four different ways to do this bookmark. Single-sided, double-sided, scrapbook paper, digital paper, you know, Christmas paper, like that, plain. So you see there's bunch of fun things you can do. So this is the reason to still watch Merry Monday because I'm still going to have Life Was Meant for Great Adventure. Ooh, that is a good one for reading. Travel the World to Find the Beautiful. Um, I was looking to find anything for reading because sometimes there's these wonderful reading quotes in here. I know I have some reading quotes from Jane Austen. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. Ooh. That might be good because when you're reading, you're in Wonderland. Well, at least I am. Let's try it. I'll cut it up a bit and put it on there. Come on now. Let go. What is happening? What is happening? Wait a minute. I'm having trouble with this book. It's supposed to flip up easy. Yeah, right. Okay, it's old. I've had this one forever. Always be on the lookout. We'll cut it right there. And we will ink this beauty. And then we'll add a little glue. It's very sticky. I, I find them to be sticky. And I have a little bit of blue. I don't know that the sponge is not very blue. Let me see if I can get this is speckled egg. Hey, you guys. I hope you like this project. It does some stash building for both our regular stash. And it also builds for our Merry Monday Christmas stash. Oh, yeah. And then I could see adding a few little bling pieces up there. And we've got that made. Let me see what time we have. I'm pretty sure we're at the time to stop. I'm going to make sure we got most everything out of the way. Are we, are we there? Are we there yet? Let me see. 58. Oh, we are there. Darn, you guys. Well, I was hoping to finish that with you, but that's okay. We did the Christmas one. It's completed. Then we have these other two styles. So as you can see there, here she is. And this is just on a piece of file folder. Isn't she lovely? And it's a bookmark at the top, and I'll show you on my book. Ignore that this is Christmas, but this is how it would look on a book page. Oh, here's a book page right here. We'll just use it on this. So you just put it on there like this. And there you have it. It's at the top of your page. Let's see, it's at the top of your page. So when you close your book, you can see the little bookmark there. So that's how that works. That's why we glue it at the top. Works perfectly. Wonderful, right? So there you have our bookmarks for, for Merry Monday. I hope that you enjoyed that thoroughly. And I hope you'll come back for our, for our next Merry Monday and any other merry days that we may have. We may call Merry Monday all the way through even though they're not actually on Monday. So you guys have a wonderful, marvelous week and I will see you all very soon. Watch for my next video. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.